Well, I, I don't think it's a big deal. I would do it. I don't feel that uh, any reason. I feel extremely good. I feel very good. But I guess it's not a big deal to get tested, and it's something I would do. But again, uh, spoke to the White House doctor, terrific guy, talented guy. He said he sees no reason to do it. There's no symptoms, no anything. And you know what? If there were, you people would be the first to know it. You would, you would maybe even tell me about it. Yes, please. I've been briefed on every contingency you can possibly imagine. Many contingencies, a lot of, a lot of positive, uh, different numbers, all different numbers, very large numbers, uh, and some small numbers too, by the way. Look, right now, I guess we're at 26 deaths. And if you look at the flu, the flu for this year, we're at 8 million, we're, we're looking at 8,000 deaths. And, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of cases, but we have 8,000 deaths. So you have 8,000 versus 26 deaths at this time. With all of that being said, we're taking this unbelievably seriously, and I think we're doing a really good job. And again, the task force headed up by the Vice President has been fantastic. <laughs> No, I think the U.S. has done a very good job on testing. Uh, we had to change things that were uh, done and that were nobody's fault. Perhaps uh, they wanted to do something a different way, but it was a much slower process from a previous administration. And we did change them. We made the changes. But the testing has gone very well. And when people need a test, they can get a test. When the professionals need a test, when they need tests for people, they can get the test. It's gone really well. Look, the biggest thing that we did was stopping the inflow of people early on. And that was weeks ahead of schedule, weeks ahead of what other people would have done. In fact, other people mostly would probably not have done it even till now. And that's made a big difference. <laughs>